so welcome to a very exciting part of your learning and that is dax so dax is basically data analysis expressions so this is basically a formula language that is used in microsoft power bi and even in excel if you are using power pivot this is the same language that is used here as well so learning dax will not only make you proficient in power bi but also in microsoft excel now what is actually dex and why we need to use that anyway let me explain you so you will notice that while we were working on calculating our pnl we have simply dragged down our value of amount from here in our gl to this value column here and excel actually gave in power bi actually gave us the right values in this matrix but that was the standard behavior that was you know coded by microsoft into this function of matrix but what if if i did not need this for the period value what i mean is what if if was uh, if i was working to uh, to prepare balance sheet now you will agree with me that balance sheet values are not for the period but these values are balance sheet values are total value to date now let me explain you uh, when we are calculating sales for 2018 that will only be you know that will only be the value for 2018 and in the 2019 the value of sales is start from zero and then we only merge this transaction of 2019 and similarly in 2020 we will only calculate the value of 2020 and 2018 and 19 will be excluded now this is the standard behavior that has been coded into this matrix function when you when we drag down that value of amount into our column function here into our column option here let me explain you so this one while we're working on this one you know when we bring in our value from here to this one the standard function of power bi is that it will bring in the value for that particular period but in the balance sheet we will need total to date so if we are talking about assets that will mean that net assets from 2018 and then add together net assets of 2019 so when we are calculating assets for 2019 that will be 18 plus 19 similarly when we are calculating the asset value for 2020 that will mean 18 plus 19 i mean 2018 plus 2019 plus 2020 so this is how the balance sheet value will be calculated but that function you know that is not available by default in this uh, in this matrix option so we have to calculate our formula or and then we can work out you know different values so that was just an example uh, we can calculate so many different values so for example we have to calculate our gross profit margin and when we have to calculate our gross profit margin we have to divide our gross profit with sales now there is no other way to do that in power bi other than dex so we have to use dex for that so we did calculate the gross profit and you know that was a trick using filter but i think that was it so we cannot calculate the gross profit margin and we have to use dex for that but the benefit of learning dex is the opportunities are now endless whatever you want to analyze in the way you want to analyze you will be able to do that so i think that is a good introduction to dax and now what we are going to do next is we are going to replicate the same values for pnl and uh, these matrices but this time we will be using uh, the dax measure to you know calculate the value for us and then we will replicate and check if we are going to achieve the same and then we will gradually move towards calculating our new values let's dive in